might be the best collar ever created for active dogs. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? This is Kylie Watts. Kylie is is an animal activist. Mm -hmm. She rescues dogs. She's a nice human being. Thank you. Terrible judge of character and friends, <laughs> which is why you allowed me to be your friend for as long as we've known each other. That's true. How you doing, girl? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Dan. You made me laugh, and I love that you make me laugh. Mm -hmm. When she brought this to QVC, uh, just it, we're talking about two weeks ago. You were bouncing off the walls to show me this. Oh, I couldn't wait to and show it you took, this. Yeah, it took me that long to get it on the air. It, it starts off with, I think I've got a better lead, but I know I've got a better collar. For sure. Okay. And, and it really is the collar of the future. You know, we've often and really have relied on those traditional tags for our dogs. The ones you know you get to the pet store, right. you have to get them engraved. You can put one or two lines on them. And the problem with them has always been the information can become outdated. They could fall off. They make a lot of noise. So Smart Buckle was created by a bunch of animal lovers, for animal lovers, and it really is the ultimate collar because inside of the collar, in the buckle, is actually the identification embedded inside. So it never falls off. It never wears out. And what you'll notice on each collar is there's a unique identification number. Yep. So rather than having that dangly tag, you create a profile for your pet. And hopefully they'll never get lost. But should they get lost, anybody that finds them will have access to a wealth of information about your pet. We're talking their weight, their colors, any maybe medical needs they yep. have. If they like kids, you can put multiple points of contact on here and you can update it in real time. So we'll show you the app. You can do it on the website. All you do is go to 411pet.net and it's that simple. Listen, we, we love our dogs. My dogs uh, are very, very active. They're Australian Shepherds. Mm -hmm. uh, they run. They now, do. Because we live on a farm. They've got plenty of room. But but things happen. You know, I've, I've seen dogs jump fences. I've seen, you know, I've done it. I accidentally let a gate open and you feel like a dummy. And the next thing you know, the dog is out near the road. Uh, it's the worst feeling in the world, yeah. and I want to prevent that. If your dog manages to get loose or runs away or what have you, I want you to be able to, to get that information to other people. Also, anytime you ever walk your dog, I want you and your dog to be safer. So that's why the lead comes with it as well. Mm -hmm. the, you and I were both shocked that this price tag came in at about 20 bucks. Right, right. Well, because the quality is there. So oh, it's a yeah. nylon construction. Even the leash, even the collar is all embedded with a reflective lead. So when you're walking at night, you have it there. And you're seeing how easy it is. You create the profile. It'll take you just a few minutes. Put the collar, put the leash on the oh, dog. dog. And should that, and that's Stella right there. Hi, should Stella. Stella get away from Will like this. Yep. If someone were to find her, they have access to that information. They're able to send a that real. That was some of the greatest dog acting I've ever seen. Did you like that? I did. I will tell him you said that. Thank but you, Will. Nice job. Allie right there found the dog and was able to send Will the exact location as yep. to where that dog was. So it's information that's invaluable because our pets are our family. And one of those things, if, if the uh -oh. gate gets left open, if it's maybe fireworks, if someone's coming over that doesn't know the rules and accidentally lets the dog out, you don't want to rely just solely on microchips because they no. can be outdated. Well, here's the other thing. Uh, all, of our ch all of our dogs are chipped, but that, that doesn't help unless the person who finds your dog can take them to a vet. That's right, and the vet has the technology yeah, to read that with specific this, chip. Now everyone, everyone with a cell phone and access to the internet now has more ability than your veterinarian does with an embedded device. And I like the idea that you don't have to embed a device. You right. just put the collar around your dog's neck. And they're beautiful collars. They are, and we have three sizes. So they're small, right. medium, and large. You can either do it by the neck circumference of your dog or the weight of them. So small is gonna be around 15 to 30 pounds. Medium's 30 to 50 pounds. Large is 50 to 100 pounds. So something for everybody. Yep. They adjust completely and they are really soft. They're a nylon construction. So really, really nice, durable material, all embedded with that reflection in there. So even when you're walking at night, you have that reflective lead. The leash almost glows. So You've got uh, it does. Welded. The darn thing, the first time I saw it on the videotape, yeah. it looked almost like a, a fluorescent light bulb as opposed to a lead. Yeah. And everything about this is quality. The findings, which are your class, mm -hmm. are the best I've ever seen. The way they swivel, how easy they are to maneuver and manipulate. I'm really blown away. Here's the free app yes. that, 
that you're going to download to be able to, to set the information up. And then it's how anybody who might happen to find your dog will be able to get this information back to you. Right, and that's what I love about this. So you're seeing right here, when you get this home, you download the app. It's completely free. There's no monthly subscriptions, nothing whatsoever. You have battery life indicators on this app as well, and you'll be able to tell when the battery needs to be changed. It lasts about a year or so with this. But I have three profiles right here. These are all my dogs. Those are puppies. Yeah. You can see um, one of them's missing from here, but we've got three of them there. So right now we'll go into Hurley. So Hurley's my English Bulldog. And you see when we pull her up, you're going to see her name. Her and I gotta say, I, I'm concerned with Hurley because if Hurley gets loose, there's a chance that that dog will wander three or four paces away. <laughs> I know. Well, she's not my <laughs> flight risk. Some of my other ones are. But when you go into manage the pet tag, this is all the information that you can add into. And this is what anybody who finds the pet will have access to. Right. Unlike those traditional tags that maybe are one or two lines. So we can put multiple owners in here, multiple numbers. We also, can put... characteristics of the dog. Yes. If which... the dog likes to be around children, mm -hmm. uh, if the dog is, is shy. Etc. It, it, it helps in every possible way, and then you've got all the information to be able to reach out to the owner of that dog. Right. And I've got to tell you, there aren't many feelings better than returning a dog to a pet lover. No, definitely, and that's the thing. It's it's all about the information, you know. We've used those ID tags for so long. This is really the collar of the future. The other cool thing is, yeah. as we connected to, there's a built-in step counter for this on your, on your pet as well. So this is information you could give to your vet to show how active they are. Okay. You're seeing your battery indicator light right there. So we're at 94%, so we know our collar's good to go. It's a lot of really fun information, but it's about and being able to keep your animal safe because our pets are our family. Yeah. And if it gets wet, doesn't matter. It's mm -hmm. simple. It's easy. Uh, I did fail to mention there's two colors. There's a blue and there's a red. Yes. Blue seems to be a little more popular. Uh, they're just remarkably well built. They're well done. And I love the fact that you don't have anything dangling. You don't have to worry right. about outdated information. The identification is embedded right inside of the buckle. So every single collar has that unique identification number on it. That's all you need to set up that profile. And then you add everything else about your pet. You know, even if they're taking medication, maybe you're on vacation and your your parents or somebody else is watching the dog, okay. you can put their information on there as well. So it's really one of those things that I would never have this not on my pets now. Now that we have this I, technology, I, I, yep. it's something that's really important and something that can really potentially keep your pet really very safe. Well, again, the only thing that was even close to this in the past was to physically put an implant into the dog at its shoulder blades. And it, it requires an electronic device at a veterinarian's office to read that information. You aren't necessarily always near a veterinarian's office. And the thing with that is, Dan, there, I think there's five databases for the microchips as well, and not every vet has every single scanner. Okay, all so right. So even if they yeah. have a microchip, it doesn't mean that a vet can read them. Yep. And people know, people oftentimes, if they Look find a pet... Look at that lead, by the way. Look at how that thing lights up in the smallest of light. Right, right. Well, and so if the little doggy were to get lost right now, if someone were to find it, they don't know if it's good with kids. They right. don't know if it's safe to put in their car. They don't know, you know, anything about that dog. So a lot of the time, people look for that collar, that identification that's on them. Yep. So you want to make sure your pet is always wearing something that gives you that information. This is a wealth of information, not just a number. This is all the information you would need for it, your pet at your fingertips. I, I am so thrilled that more and more people are rescuing animals from, from pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, but so often, when you're new with a pet, things happen and a dog can get away. Yeah. So I, I would love to see every dog presented with a collar like this well and that's what's so cool about this too so even in that in that realm with it too so when you're managing the yep. pet tag you can see there's rescue information down there as well so even it's not just your information if that pet was from a rescue the rescue could be contact too to okay. help reunite the pet so this if you could imprint all of this on a tag that would be, That'd great. be great but then your dog would be dragging around a tag that you know Noisy, could fall yeah, off, it could yeah. wear. Now we have technology that gives us all that information for our beloved animals. I know how passionate you are about this. Mm -hmm. I know how sincere you are about the mission, about the cause. Yeah. I was still really surprised that the price tag was $21 and, and change. $21.12. Uh, a really good dog collar usually goes for much more. And a good long lead like this, what's the length of the lead? Just about six feet for okay. all of them. Yeah, That's, no matter what you, size. You can't beat it. You <laughs> just can't beat it. And I hope people with pets, they do the responsible thing and that they pick it up. And check out the website because you'll, you'll be amazed at how much information can be put onto this 
this database, and then if someone does find your pet, it means you're going to be reunited with them. What's better than that? There's nothing better than that. That's, our pets are our family. Uh, it's the best $20 pet insurance I've ever seen. I agree. Kind of thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for bringing it to my you're show. Welcome. I appreciate that more Thanks than Thanks for having me. Uh, I've got